everybody, it's me, Mr. Mark. Are you ready for another edition of Mr. Mark's Mailbag? I hope so, because I'm ready to go. And boy, do we have a great show for you this week. Lots of fantastic fan mail has come in. Letters from you, the students out there, with a whole bunch of different questions. We're going to get to some of those. Plus, we'll have another um, fun tip at the end of the show, like we did last week. This one, St. Patrick's Day, is right around the corner. So we have some ideas for that. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it. This is Rebecca, who's in the fourth grade from Louisiana. All right. We love Louisiana. Dear Mr. Mark. There it is again. Dear Mr. Mark. That is no hello, Mr. Mark. It's always dear Mr. Mark. The ice cream adventure is my favorite. Oh, um, Icelandic Meltdown. That was a really cool episode. And uh, it took place over, we went through Iceland. We were on a Viking ship. We learned all about that period of time. We learned a lot about uh, geothermal activity. So it was a fantastic adventure. I think that was our 24th episode that we've ever made. Uh, I love that adventure too. And the ice cream she's mentioning, um, Rebecca's mentioning at the end, when uh, Mr. Lazy had a big ice cream scoop and he was trying to get us. And then we had the dodge like a sun. It was, it was really cool. Uh, do you like ice cream? Oh, that's your question. Do I like ice cream? Uh, yes, I do. I really like ice cream. You know, I always talk about eating healthy, right? But we all need to eat stuff that we like to once in a while, like a treat, I guess I should say. So every Sunday, I try to treat myself. So I'll have a big bowl of ice cream Sunday night. So if you're around Sunday night around six or seven o'clock and you think of Mr. Mark, just know that I'll be having some ice cream. What flavor? I don't know, but it's always good. She, Rebecca did have one other question. Can you visit my school? Well, Rebecca, I would love to visit your school. Hopefully one day I'll make it to Louisiana again and I can visit your school. But in the meantime, you could always contact Director Denny, have your teacher to, uh, See if I have time for a virtual visit right into your classroom. Excellent. And um, I will, how can you contact Director Denny? Just send a letter here or an email. Go to, uh, what is Denny? Denny.conkell at adventuretofitness.com. That's it about a virtual visit. Good job. All right, who's up next? This is Timothy. Great paper, no picture, no picture. Dear Mr. Mark, I'm your, I'm your biggest fan. Well, thank you very much, Timothy, who's in the first grade from Nevada. I forgot to say where, what, the great state of Nevada. I was just in Las Vegas in February. Um, I'm your biggest fan, thank you. I like to read. Do you like to read? You know what? I do like to read, not just, uh, you know, magazines or newspapers and everything, but I do, I like to read those too, and information that's on, on the internet, but I, I do like to read a good book. And I really enjoy history, and I also enjoy reading you know, biographies or autobiographies. That means about an individual person. Maybe there'll be a Mr. Mark biography one day. I don't know about that. But uh, yes, yeah, so I like those types of books, and it's great that you love to read. It will serve you well for your whole life. Excellent. Next up, ooh, this is from Robert in Alabama, and there's a picture that is, I guess, me and Mr. Clock, and I have a green shirt on, but that's okay. Maybe, maybe Robert, who's in the second grade in Alabama, did not have a blue marker, so at least I have a shirt on. Uh, dear Mr. Mark, we have fun on adventures. It looks like, it looks like you are. Are you? Oh, am I having fun on the adventures? Well, Robert, let me tell you something. I have lots of fun when I go on adventures with you guys. That's why you always see a smile on my face. And I think you guys really do realize that I truly enjoy doing our adventures of all the different ones that we've made. And I'm glad that you can see it on my face, that I'm smiling because I'm actually having a really good time. Now, I get tired sometimes, just like you guys. But yes, I'm having a great time. I'm thrilled that you're having a good time too on our adventures. Excellent. Okay, well, you know what? That picture had Mr. Mark with a green shirt on, and that's kind of a tie-in to St. Patrick's Day, which is right around the corner. And Director Denny and I were thinking, 
you know, what is a really cool theme around St. Patty's Day? And how about we go green and help the environment? So come up with some ideas on how you think you can help out the environment. And we have a few here. All right, ready? Here's one. Take shorter showers to conserve water. Very good. Another one can be save energy. And you'll save your family some money too by turning lights off when you're leaving rooms. Uh, how about try using a reusable water bottles when you, you can instead of the ones that you just throw away. So don't just throw away your plastic bottle. You could reuse it or get a reusable water bottle. And then here's probably my favorite. Just enjoy the earth, right? Go for walks outside, uh, plant a tree or flowers with your family and even try some delicious foods the earth naturally produces. You know, we talk about planting the trees and flowers. Maybe plant a tomato tree in your back lawn or something like that. So those are some fun things that you can do to go green to help the environment for St. Patrick's Day. Well, folks, that's going to do it for another edition of Mr. Orange Mailbag. Listen, you see the address on the screen. Keep on sending in your fan mail. Send it right to the address. And um, we will do our best to answer some questions every single week. As always, we appreciate you hanging out with us here on Mr. Mark's Mailbag. Until next week, keep it moving.